feel particularly worth it for Rezo. He is killing creeps, but you're giving troll space, and he's burning through a lot of regen. Now Zayet, he's going to have to put the ink swell on himself. Matu just barely outranges it. Very nice. Now I'm going to try to chase him down with the ranged axes. Does connect. Drops the Sal, but it gets interrupted. And First Blood is secured on the puppy. Brilliant play from no one from across the map. Great time to drop the ulti, though. Matu does get the counter kill in deep, looking for a bounty rune. If you were dead anyway, this helps uh, make it somewhat worth it. Oh, jeez. Almost missed it there. That was whew, that that was bad. Splatter. Missing the shift. Shishak going for the big sight play on the no one. Is he going to actually survive? He does. Thanks to the help of Yapsor. That was a close call. They Loves. Thank you very much, he says. R runes did go uh, three for secret also. Now up top, Zayats again. Forced to use the ink swell on himself and not going to make a lick of difference. Still gets brought down and on the other side. No one battling it out with Matumba Man. Does break through the trees. No one does have a TP, but not the teleportation spell. Gets netted and I think he's going to be out of options here. Old Yappy hanging on to that telekinesis. Another sprout. Oh, another courier. Oh, that's Yapsor's courier this time. Pulse, but Guardian Greaves are also so good on this hero. Having a big heal and a cleanse. They're just too good this game. Yeah, he needs see it. A, a dive onto Puppy and. Now your tree. Am I like? Oh, okay. I lagged out for a second. Sorry. Oh that. yeah, yeah. He got the kill. <laughs> I was wondering. I, I was, was like, yes, like, he's very dead. <laughs> I was like, are they waiting for the blind to expire? What the hell's going on here? All right, now the real fight breaks out. Nisha stunned up thanks to the Dragon Knight. ILTW might be able to help secure this kill and does. It's no one. Now on a killing spree. Levels out the tower gold a little bit. Three to one. Double damage on Nisha. Could see a team fight break out here around this tier one in five seconds. ILTW presses forward, does not have an Elder Dragon form. Warlock only comes careful. down. They want Nisha and they might just get him. They've got the damage. No, that is very any. unusual. No hood. I mean, they will have a uh, spirit vessel soon. Yeah. Stroke, but not yet. ILTW just goes straight in. They're going to try to chain stun Nisha. Down comes the golem, but also the ult from Coddle. Nisha has already used the greaves. Also misses the dunk. And now this could turn sour for BP. They didn't find any of those kills, and there's still a rebound. Stolen soul by with a faithful. They destroy Solo, and now the Scythe also gets no one. It's too dead for VP. The other side, TP out from Grimstroke, and I think that's all they're going to get. But if like This was the fight that would have been way more in your favor, but now yeah. you've lost it on your big ultis. Well, we'll see. They're moving to the pit like they want to contest. Both teams lacking the big ultimate. It's all on Rezo. Might be slightly easier for Secret. Rezo jumps in, gets a three hero call. Follow up Inkswell, but where's the damage? Rezo now being repelled. Nisha trying to box him out as best he can. It is now a 5v5 as the Prophet TPs in. And Secret not feeling confident. Will start to back out of the pit. Maybe hoping that VP will jump in. Yeah, Secret only have 30 seconds to Will O Wisp, whereas the Golem is a lot further away. Reaper Scythe also coming up in about 25. They'll jump in on the ILTW. DK's down. That's a big kill. No buyback available. Out comes the Grimstroke ult, but it gets pushed back the other way by the Rubik. And now no one in Zayat stuck together. Not in the spot they want to be. The Blinding Light actually helped no one a little bit. Sprout not going to be enough. And it is a disaster for Virtus. Rush's Halberd? No, I, I guess not. And it's like, yeah, yeah no, it's Tusker. Now he's going back for Shadow Blade, and it's like, I get why you need it. This build still feels all over the place. We'll see no one down bottom. Matumba Man could be in trouble. Does have the Aegis. No ulti for 10. And now Zai is here. He's going to help out his buddy, and they're going to go in onto Rezo. Zayats hits him with a stroke. No one's already TP'd out. Both sides starting to reinforce, but it's VP with superior numbers. Zai does not have that ulti. 
he might get put down here. They drop the golem to food. No one's gonna lose it. That's gonna be the end of the ages. Stolen oh, golem out of Yapsor, though. Now that green golem putting in the damage as the troll comes back. They want Zayat. Sanisha's also here, does have Greaves and an ulti. Reinitiation from Rezo, but is it gonna make a difference? He takes the scythe, they've got the damage, and Nisha will find another. It's ages for two, and it's not over yet. Solo not gonna be able to make it out. He gets brought down. Another big fight for Sanisha. Yeah, it's like, I legitimately just wanna know, like. <laughs> Because I agree, I don't really get it either. It seems way too pricey to me. I'd rather have the BKB faster and give him the Yeah, he would have his BKB right now. 100%. They drop the Connell ult though, and he just goes down. That'll be in the hands of the troll. It's a pretty easy Roche. Now VP looking for an angle, and they're going to spread out. Maybe no one gets caught. He's got a BKB, so he'll be okay for now. And the TP home. Harder. Puppy. Oh, interesting TP from no one across the other way. And he's Glimmer. Oh, yeah, no. taunted though. Yeah. Oh! Oh, Dusted, Puppy this. still gonna fall. Too good. But making some space, that was a two on one. Puppy gonna buy back, and now Matsu at the enemy base finishes off this tier three tower. Now going in onto the barracks. No glyph available for the Radiant. Puppy doesn't even have a TP, he has to run. He can't even TP to the outpost. Well, Rax down. I don't know, that was uh, pretty good for Puppy. It's like he dies, but you completely stop the threat of that counter push. And then 4v3 at the base. This is looking pretty good for Secret. They get the bash on the axe. Brickstroke ult does come up. Puppy is here from the Stay west, the white Stay rider. Yapsor, Yapsor going to buy back. No one, BKB about to expire, but Rezo with another nice talk. I don't think DP have the damage to sustain through this. Misha getting down low, but he'll eat the cheese. Now Matsu on the front line, still just tanking the tower, holding the Aegis. Okay, able to walk away thanks to the Shadow Blade. Couple of buybacks used now. Actually, two on the side of Secret. Only Rezo used his for VP. And Yapsor is still holding the spell steal. He's waiting for something. Can't find anything he wants. And they do have the Will-O-Wisp back now. Man, that's a... Uh, that was so funny. Puppy ran the whole way there, and then he yules up the DK to give Nisha enough time to cheese. <laughs> Uh-oh, Matsu, is this going to be the end of the ages? Yes, indeed. The Connell ults there, Reaper's Scythe. That's a dieback now for Rezo. Two minutes on the sideline. Onto the DK. Still some time on the Silver Edge. Gets a Glimmer Cape. The DK pretty tanky at this point. Don't forget the Heaven's Halberd is in the mix, but they'll knock it back. They're trying to keep him on the low ground. Silent stuff, and they've got the damage. No buyback on the DK either. It is now a 5v3 for over 60 seconds. They'll pull no one down to the low ground. Brilliant telekinesis. No buyback on him either. And this very well could be the end of the game trend. The tier two up top is still pretty healthy. They're calling it. That's it. GG. All right. Another pretty quick series here as Secret take it 2-0. Oh, man. Jeez, Our series was supposed to stay on schedule 45 minutes ago, and it's already done. This was, I, I was expecting the nice three-game...